Hello, guild members and adventurers. Raven here. Along with Iris. Uh, as you, if you could hear her, I'm going to have to do most of the uh, commentary because someone's losing her voice. I'm trying. You're me. You're me. Oh. Yeah, welcome back to the guild. I hope everybody had a fantastic holiday and got what they were wishing for or better. Or, or just had some time to relax and hang out with family because, you know, my favorite part is the giving of the presents, not so much the getting, and just being around my family. And I hope all of you had the opportunity to be around family. Or friends who are just basically family, because friends can be family too. Yes. True. Now you're probably gonna be tired for the rest of the video. I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> but anyway, we are back with the uh, Tales of Arise. Uh, last time we uh, were in the um, we were in one of the hideouts of the Resistance. The mind, and they call it a mine. <laughs> um, in the um, as it, the bright eyes, as everybody calls them, down on the planet, uh, found them and invaded, and we had to get through. They keep calling him an embedded. I don't think he's an embedded. I think he's a bright eyes because uh, he has no memory. His face is covered. Why would his face be covered if he's not a bright eyes? And the fact that he could grab the fiery sword sticking out of her chest. The blazing sword that no man can hold. But, but anyway, that's the cliff notes of everything. Let's get back into it. We are traveling with, uh, uh Shinon? Yeah, Shinon and, I forgot his, I forgot his name. Uh, Teaming up with, yeah, Zeph. Uh, I know things sometimes. Uh, Bam! I'm assuming I need to go towards the square, but. Yeah, sure no goodies. What I remember of playing through this, I think items are good. Necessity. Stuff. Losing right. your voice, seeing things. And just so this is in perspective for all of you, this is coming out after the holidays for you guys, but tomorrow is Christmas for us. So this is going to be an interesting holiday for me. <laughs> now, let's see. I was brought down before the holidays. Our youngest has been strapped with an earache, and Iris is still getting over her. Fun times. Uh, but, oh yeah, also, um, we have polls going on for the naming of our Adventures Guild and also the last poll for our th round three of our Gauntlet series. It's of which Iris will win, I, which yeah, she's already I, open. As of right now, well, technically, the video was, we're redoing our video, but. Right now, technically, she is in the lead. Yeah, all of a sudden, he wants to redo it. I don't. I don't feel right. I didn't feel good recording it. Uh, nothing against her. She did well, and now she probably do better and gives me more of a challenge. That's creepy. Land of brimstone and throwing ash. Ganymede Castle, stronghold of Lord Balseth, self-imposed ruler of all Calaglia. I've never seen it from this close before. That's it, all right. And next to it are the Gates of Fire. Take a good long look while you still can. That wall is what we've come to tear down. The only thing standing between us and freedom. Freedom. Let's go.
Oh yes, the polls for the naming of the guild and the rounds are still going on. I'm gonna give it to. Uh, I give it to Sunday. Sunday is going to be the Saturday is the deadline, and I'll be choosing on Sunday, hopefully. So there'll be should be a link to the guild naming or the um, Gauntlet series poll up in the corner, showing up right now. If I'm doing my job, she will. Hopefully, I have faith in you. Fire and brimstone. Good old JR with it. Be careful. If you get close to a Zoogle, they'll attack. Making contact with an enemy icon will initiate battle. Defeating all enemies is in a given fight where you scared. Can be roar. No. Uh, not hesitate. During combat, press options in the menu to change character. Mode, semi auto, manual, auto. Semi auto is designed for players who only wish to casually dabble in combat. Meanwhile, manual mode is for those seeking full control. And full control of iron. Regular attack is R1. <coughs> well, I'm sure I'm trying to go are these for the um, specials. Don't fight any enemies you can otherwise avoid, all right? Makes sense. If we try to take them all on, there'll be no end in sight. You sure won't hear me complaining. No coward. Really? Ah. Normally, I don't pick on the weak. Here I come! Splat! I'm on it! Good! Ah! Oh, Slow back! Touch cannon! I'll bring you back to Circle the and bring them down! I'm on it! Resuscitation! Diogo. None shall escape my Take judgment! Splat! I'm on it! Nope! 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 You had to be resurrected. Just I can feel my power growing. You brought it down. It was part of the plan. Distraction. Part of the plan. No distraction. It'll be good this time. I'm a recording. I'm being a little jackass. What a weird stone. I sense a strange power from it. We should gather as many as we can find. Ooh, fresh. Seems you found something good. Supplies like that are valuable. Never overlook them. Got it. I'll remember that. Let's stop a moment to catch our breath. But I barely worked up a sweat. Speak for yourself. What do you want, a medal? Doesn't look like we're being followed. Fail to grab these rare moments of quiet when you can. You'll end up regretting it later. You're the boss. <clears throat> resting at campgrounds will restore your party's HP and CP while resting. You can watch skits and cutscenes that let you prove you. Normally, we should take turns standing guard, but this first time, I'll watch over things so you two can rest easy. I've never just sat and 
watched a fire like this before. It's surprisingly soothing. Well, aren't you getting comfortable? You realize there are still Zoogles prowling around out here, right? Ah, uh, don't be a spoil sport. It's important to let your mind and spirit relax. It does you a lot more good than you might think. <sighs> Zephyr, why aren't you concerned about who I am? You feeling left out, son? No, it's not that. But... You said you wanted to fight so that you can live a free man. At this point, that's all that matters. Even if it somehow turned out you were a Renan, it wouldn't be such a big deal. A Renan? Until we know who you are, we can't rule anything out. Besides, we've already got Xion with us. At this point, what's one more Renan as long as they're on our side? So you don't see every Renan as an enemy? Our goal isn't to hunt down and kill all Renans. We only arm ourselves as much as we need to, to set ourselves free. If you can believe it, not every Danon agrees with what we're doing either. Are you saying we have enemies among the Danons? Uh, not quite. They're just not up for rebelling, per se. The thing you have to remember is that everyone has their own path to walk. I'm not sure I understand. That's okay. Just focus on what we have to do right now. However, the time will come when you'll need to decide what to do for yourself. How come you don't have a scar on your hand? A scar? What do you mean? The Crimson Crows all tore off their own spirit cores, <coughs> right? But... Your hand doesn't show any signs of ever having a core like theirs. Why not? I... don't know. I don't remember anything about myself from before Doc found me. Seriously? You have that mask, you don't feel any pain, and you just happen to know how to fight with a sword? No way. You must remember something. I'm not lying if that's what you think. Believe me, I wish I knew who the hell I am. But I don't. It's funny how I didn't have any time for soul-searching while digging up rocks in a mine. Still. Are you saying you've told us everything about yourself? Zephyr. It's bad manners to pry when you've got plenty to hide yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna ask me about my past, too? Only when I think it's necessary. You're a real man of mystery, I'll admit. That said, I'm not one to dig around in someone's business just out of curiosity. If you remember something and feel like sharing, you're free to do so. For now, I think that's good enough. Right. Thank you. Unflinching Iron Mask. So, this whole you not feeling pain thing... Is that for real? Why would I lie about it? And why would you care anyway? You saw him burn his arm. No, it's just... You know, I can't imagine what it's like, that's all. As a slave, I'd say it has its advantages and disadvantages. Oh? On the upside, when Renan soldiers push me around, I hardly flinch. The downside's that I get injured without even noticing. Which means I could be knocking on death's door and not even realize it. Really? Sure. I may be numb to pain, but that doesn't make me immortal or anything. Still, I wouldn't have noticed any of this if someone hadn't pointed it out to me. If not for my fellow slaves, I'd be long dead, lying in a ditch somewhere. Yes, karma. Story. What? A master core, huh? Now I see. So that's why Balsef's cronies were so desperate to catch her. Is that what it's called? The jewel in her chest? Oh, right. You don't remember a damn thing, do you? Ah, fair enough. I guess it's time to fill you back in. Tell me, 
You ever wonder why we Danans are made to work ourselves to the bone, day in, day out? Well, when you put it like that, I always just assumed we were mining resources for them. Then don't you think it'd be quicker if they used all that high-powered tech they have? Why go to all the trouble of relying on weak human labor? Listen, what the Renans are really after isn't resources or minerals. It's astral energy. They're harvesting the astral energy that sleeps inside all matter in life forms. And they're doing it the same way they have for the past 300 years, using us Danans as mere siphons. Right. They have machines for minerals, but extracting from Danans requires spirit cores. Any astral energy collected passes through a spirit vessel on its way to being stored in a master core. But why go to the trouble of collecting all this energy in the first place? Do they really need all that juice just to use astral arts? It determines the Sovereign. Sovereign? Is that the Renan ruler? Exactly. Five lords, each doing whatever it takes to gather as much astral energy as they can and store it in their master cores. Whichever of them manages to accumulate the most power at the end of their contest is crowned the ruler of the Renan motherland. A new crown contest, as they call it, is held every decade or so. So you see, the master cores are the receptacles in which the lords store their power. And we Danans are sacrificed, so the Renans can choose their new ruler. That's insane! You're telling me that's what our people have been dying for this whole time? Relax, hero. You're not the only one who's bent out of shape about the whole thing. There are two things that I haven't been able to get my head around yet. What business would a Renan have stealing a Master Core? And what's the deal with that blazing sword? Good question. I think the sword is a physical manifestation of the Master Core's astral energy. As for why it took the shape of a sword, well, I don't know any more than you do. Honest. And that stuff about needing your permission to use it? What was that about? I'm the only one of us who can control the Master Core to some extent. Without me to adjust the flow of astral energy, the sword can't take a physical form. What do you want out of this? You may be one of them, but you don't strike me as the ruthless oppressor type. I'm going to take down all of the lords. Never thought I'd say this, but I like the cut of your jib, Renan. <laughs> Very well. As far as we're concerned, the struggle continues either way. And with that sword on our side, our chances of victory just increased. That is, of course, assuming we can count the two of you in. Fine by me. After all, it sounds like we're after the same thing anyway. I... Honestly, I'm still a little confused by all this. But if it's a choice between this or going back to being a slave, then I choose to fight. Then it's settled. Together, we'll overthrow the Renan Lords. And first up on that chopping block is Balsef, the wild beast. Sound good? Another secret hideout in Ulzebek, not far from here. We should be able to meet up with our comrades there. Come that way. 
tell you it's rude to stare I know I already asked you this but are you sure we haven't met somewhere before <sighs> what's so hard to understand I'm Renan you're Danon there's no way besides I'm from Lenigus trust me wherever you were before you lost your memory we've never crossed paths Lenigus you mean the same Lenigus that's up in the sky I've heard it called the Renan's castle I never imagined people actually lived up there. Well then, where did you think we all lived? Didn't you see the Renan Lords descend for the crown contest? And how long ago was that? Well, the current contest started seven years ago, so... Then I wouldn't remember. Just how far back do you remember? About a year, give or take. That's how long ago Doc found me. One year. Then no. I'm sorry, but there really is no way we could have met. Guess not. Hmm. We should be able to eat this. Whenever you find some, make sure to grab it. It's edible, huh? Good to know. Definitely. Whoop. Um. What? Okay. <laughs> One enormous stray. I don't think we can take it right now. Yeah, I learned that. <laughs> you did. Uh -huh. okay. ah, how bad could We've it be? We've almost made it to Ulzebek. It was that bad. Oh, yeah. Or maybe I did leave it alone and it became a mission. Normally I don't pick on the weak. Don't go charging off like that. Try harder. This is it. I'll dig deep. No excuses. This is up to us. I'll bring you back from death to bit. I'll bring you back from death to bit. Hurry, hurry. The targeting shield. Yeah, well, I'm kind of dead. And I didn't well, know I was home stretch now. Don't take your eyes off the prize. I'm quite aware without you reminding me. Everything's coming up, Zephyr. What's this thing? Right, give them all we got! 
Shibu, Shiba Inu, that when combined with a set of ears makes it tempting to run around barking everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's an unusual bird. It's an owl. They're often used as a symbol to represent ancient Dana. Okay, people, this is it. Ools are back. No sign of any Renin guardsmen. The Renins aren't as populous as the Danans. Probably figure stationing guards in a place like this would be a waste of precious manpower. So this is where the next safe house is? Yes. The last place they'd think to look for enemies is on their own doorstep. That is, assuming anyone actually made it here before us. Zephyr! Looks like we needn't have worried. Come on. Good, a little bit of action and a lot of story. A lot of story, yeah. So I hope, I hope everybody is too enjoying and is very interested to see what happens next because we are surely can't, don't want to stop. We want to keep going, but we need to work on our other playthroughs. So uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to be a member of the guild today. It's free for anybody. Just hit the little subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified when we post more quests to the board which every week I do have a new updated list of quests that I put out on the community tab so keep an eye out on that on the community the, tab yep um, and also don't forget about the round three polls for the two games to vote for the countless series and also the naming of the guild and don't forget to also hit us up on social media we're on facebook twitter instagram and discord all of the links should be down below along with the rest of the playthrough to this game some videos should be popping up we'll appreciate it if you take a look at those but again we do hope everybody had a great holiday weekend enjoyed had fun with family and friends and got what they wanted or yeah so, uh, yes, uh, thank you for watching, keep on adventuring, and we'll catch you in the guild next time. Later!